Hello chaps and welcome to Harvestella. Oh man, it is out tomorrow by the time you're seeing this video. Uh, possibly already out, but um, yes, big thank you to Square for sending me a copy of this game. I have been very excited to try this. I think it's going to be a really nice chill game, especially for this time of year. A mix between JRPG and farming sim. Uh, two genres that I'm quite fond of, uh, whether or not they're going to do either of them particularly well, or if it's going to be kind of like a jack-of-all-trades, master of none, I don't know. But what I do know is this music is gorgeous, the art style is gorgeous, I can't wait to jump in, and uh, whether or not this is going to be a full playthrough, I can't, I, I, I don't know. I, I can't promise anything, we'll see how, uh, how the game goes, but um, let's jump in. And, uh, yeah, I played the demo, really enjoyed it. There's a couple of things I had issue with, but um, we'll see if that affects my overall enjoyment of the full game. So, new game. I'm going to be starting fresh. And yeah, this, uh, this soundtrack is bloody gorgeous. Okay, so we've got options here uh, for our gender, male, female, non-binary, which I think is a, a pretty cool addition. Uh, I'm going to be going with male. And, um, yeah... I, I will say the character creation is quite limited. Uh, it's not a deal breaker for me. We have some slightly different body types. Uh, but it's cool that you can kind of pick whichever one you want, regardless of gender. Uh, I'm just going to go for this one. Um, you can choose your hair color. But you can't really choose your hairstyle, which is something I would have liked. But uh, we're just going to go with that one for now. Uh, we can choose our eye colour. I have green eyes, so we'll go with that. And uh, we have a choice of two voices, so yeah, character creation, pretty limited, but... Quite honestly, I'm not too bothered. Uh, but we have basically a, a more masculine voice and a more feminine voice. I'm gonna go with voice one. And that's the name they want to give me. Uh, I'm gonna change that. I will go with my my uh, my internet name, if you will. Uh, how do I do this? I have not played a Switch game properly in quite a while. I am not totally familiar with this uh, keyboard. Okay, Mage, that is my name, and uh, and I've pressed the home button. That's good. That's a good start. Okay, start software again. Thanks. <laughs> I meant to press uh, plus. Yeah, I really don't play the Switch enough. Here we go! Let's go. The game will begin. Confirm character? Yes. So, as far as I'm aware, this game doesn't have voice acting, or at least it didn't in the demo, which I'm okay with. Uh, so I will be doing some, some reading, uh, trying my best anyway. Mage, mage! Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's time to wake up. So yeah, I hope uh, for as long as this series goes on for, however long that is, uh, that it will be a nice chill time. I, uh, I I think the combat from what I played in the demo was, was quite basic. I don't know how it's going to evolve the further into the game you go, but... We have uh, a celestial ethereal angel lady in a nightgown. Standard JRPG beginnings, isn't it? You should be all better now. Come on, let's go. So yeah, I think this is pretty much just going to be the a, a lot of what we played in the demo. Uh, but it's been quite a while, so I probably won't remember too much anyway. But yeah, huge, huge thank you to Square for sending this over. I, uh, I'm really curious to see how this will do, how it's going to be received. <sighs> okay, we can walk around. Got some weird looking crystal things. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it is slightly blurry because I think it's just the Switch is a little bit of a dated, it, it's, it was never a powerhouse, but I think this looks really nice. Uh, we can jump. And uh, I don't think we're going to be able to go out, uh, go into any of the houses. Uh, wh what are you doing? Out and about tonight of all nights. Hurry home while you still have air in your lungs. Okay. Yeah, so we're just going to kind of 
plow through this beginning bit. <laughs> Get it? Plow? Farming? Already making jokes. You might just be the one who could save the world and the girl. Uh, what do you mean, save? You will understand when the time comes. Yeah, I'm not sure if uh, dialogue choices are really going to make much of a difference in a game like this, but um, who knows. There will come a time when you will have to choose between this world and the one that existed until now. But don't forget that this is the story of your world. And as long as you love it, you will find a way. Life, uh, 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 f finds a way. So, no matter how hard it gets, no matter how hopeless it may feel at times, don't turn away from it. So typically mysterious opening here, and uh, yeah, just the soundtrack. I can tell I'm going to enjoy this just purely based on that. It is, uh, it is lovely. That's one heck of a view. That is one heck of a view. And it's so pretty, we collapse. Yep. And that's the end of the game. Thank you very much for watching Harvestella, everyone. Uh, a little bit of a short experience, but I think a meaningful one. Nah, I'm of course we're kidding, dude. Ugh. Why now? I should be out on doctor's rounds. Excuse me. Uh, uh, excuse me, you. Don't you think it's about time you woke up now? I'm guessing they're talking to me. No, that's fine. I have something for that. Well, I mean, it's looking a bit sunnier these days, this morning. Uh, oh, you're awake. Forget I said that. It's not like I was going to use magic on you to wake you up or anything. Sure you weren't. Also, really, just, yeah, lovely character portraits. Um, now, I really want to know both of these, but we'll go with, um, where am I? We call this hill Bird's Eye Bray. At the bottom is a village called L uh, Leith. Now, I've, I'm really not quite sure how to pronounce that. L Leith? Leith? Lethy? I really don't know. Probably going to say it different every time. Uh, and I'm Cress, the village doctor. Now it's my turn. I don't think I've seen you around here before. No local in their right mind would be out uh, walking around during quiesis. Are you a traveler or something? Uh, what's Quietus? Hmm. Seems like your memory is a bit fuzzy. I made this joke when I played the demo, and I'm gonna make it again now. Yeah, I got, uh, got I got too close to, uh, Sin and the, uh, the, the toxin. Uh, Final Fantasy X reference for the win. Well, never mind. I've got to go. Come to my clinic in, in Leith, and you will, uh, uh, when you're feeling a bit better, or a bit more with it. Yeah, it usually takes me a, a, a good oh, seven hours to, to wake up properly <laughs> in the morning. The icon indicates a place where the story will progress. Cool. And yeah, I mean, this this is just utterly, utterly tranquil. I think it's gorgeous. Again, the resolution isn't the highest, but that's just, you know, the switch. Uh, the music is, like I've said... The highlight already. I can't wait to just chill out to this game and relax. 
Uh, although the game is a bit of a dick here because it blatantly puts a chest in front of us when we can't get there yet. We will be back. Now, is there a sprint button in this? I forget. Is there a sprint button? I... Oh, yep. Left bumper. Okay. Or left trigger. Uh, this is out on Steam as well, by the way, so um, it's not just on Switch. I imagine it might look a bit better on uh, PC, actually. Uh, this is a storage box. You can store items in yellow storage boxes. All of the storage boxes are connected to each other on the inside. So, yeah, pretty much like uh, Resident Evil storage box. Don't question how they're all connected. It's, it's just magic. It's great. Convenience. And, oh my god, I would live here. Dude, this is this is why I play, specifically JRPGs, just the escapism. Can you imagine living in a place as gorgeous as this? Oh my god. Giant, scary crystal aside, that is... That's quite lovely. Oh, this music, dude. Uh, hello, young boy. Hey, are you okay? You look kind of out of it. Oh, I know. You're the one Chris was talking about. You were found collapsed on the hill, right? Anyway, I'm Van. This is Leith Village. If you're looking for Cress, she's probably in her clinic. Uh, where is her clinic, exactly? Hey, I'm onto you. You want me to take you to the clinic, don't you? It would be handy. Although saying that, I would like to do a little bit of exploring as well. Um, sorry, no can do. I may not look it, but I'm actually super busy right now. Uh, sure. What, 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 what are you busy doing? Right in the middle of a game of Princess and the Omen. Okay. And after this, I'm going to play Connolu Con Catch with Vent and everyone. You all have very weird names. It's not hard to find, though. It's at the top of the hill in the square. You can't miss it. That big old building up there. Oh, okay, that one. Yep. It's really easy to get there. Just follow the streets and then climb the steps. Okie dokie. See you later. Gotta get back to my game. Good luck. Good luck, Van. I'm rooting for you. And we have a map. Uh, with minus now. Let me just make sure I'm pressing the right button here. Okay. There we go. <laughs> uh, so, immediately, it looks like we have fishing in this game, which I don't think I had a chance to check out in the demo. Uh, we've got a general store, renovator, a smithy, and... Uh, that looks to be about it. So, this is obviously where we were in the opening, but it's um, a little bit livelier. I don't know what all these different things are. They're, they're, well, they're obviously obviously crystals. Don't really know what purpose they serve in the story. Oh, this is Vent. I promised to pray, uh, pray. Play, uh, I can't talk. Play Princess and the Omen with Van and, and Milica today. Good, good, good luck, uh, Vent. I'm rooting for you. Oh, a traveler. Welcome to Leith Village. Leith benefits from uh, all four sea seas light, so we experience all four seasons here. It makes life very comfortable. So yeah, this game is going to have seasons. Um, like I say, it is, pr I think, primarily a farming simulator, but with dungeon crawling and, and again, some, some combat. So yeah, whether or not it's going to manage to juggle all these systems together well remains to be seen. But um, I mean, even if the combat is basic, I mean, I, I look at Stardew Valley, which is a game that really got me into the farming sim genre. I absolutely adore Stardew Valley. Its combat isn't great. It's very simple, but it's functional. You know, it works. Um, your timing's spot on. With Quietus over, Leith has got a nice season to look forward to. But Quietus is no laughing matter. 
Visiting every time the season changes could be dangerous. So yeah, I'm not going to go and talk to everyone, but uh, it's nice that we can chat to the villagers. And this is just... I mean... Oh, yeah, we got to look at the water effects. i got to examine water effects in every game I play. And those look to be pretty good. In fact, very nice. Very nice. Oh, are you kidding me? Another chest we can't go to yet? Fine, I'll head to the clinic. What a lovely, lovely water feature. Ah, oh, but it won't let me run in the fountain. That's... Well, that's knocked this game down about 20%. That's a shame. Yeah, I'm not going to bother going to any of the shops yet. To the clinic. Dim, you're back. Now that you're here, would you mind mixing up the mayor's medicine? Um, I'm afraid you've got the wrong person. Um, um. Oh, it's you. Welcome, come in. How are you feeling? Remembering, uh, remember, remembering anything yet? Yeah, I remember how to talk. That'd be good. Ah, I see. Well, you're outside during quietus. What is quietus? And why are all the doctors in these kinds of games? I'm thinking of... Pers in fact, yeah, she looks very much like the doctor from Persona 5. Why are they all, like, really attractive? Even we doctors still know very little about it. Quietus is the season of death, when dust from the sea's light uh, is abnormally admitted into the atmosphere. Uh, I'm guessing the sea's... Is that the big red crystal? It comes in between the four seasons. We believe the dust can be deadly if it enters the body. So everyone usually stays inside during quietus, except some silly adventurers. Now then, come over here, please. Why are you just standing there? I'm about to give you a medical exam. Okay, as long as you don't tell me to bend over. Press gives you a medical exam. For now, your body seems to be in working order. That's good. <laughs> That's very good. You're very lucky for someone who fell ill during quietus. It's a miracle you're still alive. Yeah, I wonder if there's going to be, like, something special about me that, you know, made it possible for me to live through that. Hmm? I wonder. Anyway, this works out for me too. I was just running out of bed, so it's a good thing you're better now. So now, regarding your next... Oh... Is, uh, is Leith Village prone to earthquakes and sudden darkness? Was that an earthquake? I, I don't know. It's so dark out. Yeah, that can't be good. Uh-oh. Nice hair braid, dude. Um, Chris, it's an emergency. Dim, what was that shaking just now? Sea's light is acting weird. Come quick. Oh, no. What could those tremors have been? Go after Crescent Dim. Where's Kevin Bacon when you need him? This music is hype. This music is very hype, and I'm doing the uh, typical JRPG thing uh, in running around looking for items before I progress the story. Uh, it's like, yeah, she wasn't kidding when she said she was full on uh, running out of beds. Okay. Let's just go. Let's just go, 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 go. I mean, even if that thing is super evil and causing a lot of problems, it is... it is gorgeous. Oh, this is Divine Retribution! Our time has come! The sea's light is intensifying, but why? Quietus is meant to be over already. Look!
this game is really pretty, man. This game is really pretty. was that? Did you see that? I told you it's divine punishment. D did it land in the North Square? I'm scared. Look at you two scaredy cats. Our town is in peril. We've got to go and find out what's happening. What a brave little kid. Wait. He don't run off like that. Dim, let's go. There might be casualties at the scene. I mean, if anyone got hit by that, I, I, I don't know if you're going to be able to do much. They're just going to be paced. Just paced all over the floor. Right. It's all kicking off, isn't it? Imagine that'd be kicking off quite a bit of heat. I don't think I'd be standing so close to it. Uh, I can't believe it. How could something so massive fall out of the sky? Imagine if the order were here today. Imagine how many people would have been injured. I don't know who the order is. Hope everyone's all right. On the bright side, it looks like no one got hurt. Stay away from the crystal, everyone. It could have harmful effects on the body. Yeah, I, I really would back away from that a little bit. Can someone inform the mayor? He should be back in town by now. We will. Vent, Van, come on. It's our time to shine. Let's go. Oh, I like that the kids are so willing to help. All right, everyone. Show's over. We'll take it. Uh, we'll take over from here, so the rest of you can go home. But I want to look at the giant, smoldering, massive space thing. Oh crap, actually, yeah, I forgot it has a door in it. Oh my god, I have forgotten a lot about this opening. Uh, you must be the traveler my sister told me about. Oh, you're, you're her brother. Okay, you better go home too. Nah, I'm the main protagonist of this game. I ain't going anywhere. Wait, is this... It's a freaking spaceship. An entrance? You mean you can go inside? And yeah, I, I am no voice actor. I will probably give most characters the same voice. It's fine. Alright, let's head inside. Uh, is, yep, it sure is. Let's go. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Hey! No one told you to go in there. I, I, hey, I am no one's freaking lapdog. I will do what I want. I'll have a look inside. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Basically the same thing. You. Head deeper into the crystal. Uh, I don't think I have to go very deep into the crystal to find something very suspicious. Hello? Can I go in any of these doors? No, I can't. Figure clad in armor. Are you all right? They're in pain, but still breathing. Red Ean? On this? What? Hey, are you okay? What's going on in there? I don't know. There's a person inside. 
Uh, I need a hand. A hand with what? You'll see. I also really like Cress's coat. That is a nice coat. What's this? That's... Traveller, get away from it now! But why? We have to get them treated. Are you crazy? Treat an omen? Ah, now, yeah, we've, we've heard of an omen before, but... What are they exactly, and why are you so scared? Oh right, you're an amnesiac, aren't you? Uh, it's ironic that you forgot that I am an amnesiac. <laughs> that probably doesn't mean much to you. No, it doesn't. Uh, long story short, omens are trouble. They might be the ones behind Quietus. Oh. But this one's injured right now. Well, yes. You're right. I can't pretend I didn't see it. I mean, you could. You'd be a bit of a dick, but you could do that. Isn't that right, Dad? Mm. Come on, let's carry it outside. Let's carry it outside, I've noticed. Okay. So we're getting a little bit of uh, world building here. Crest, that's... It was inside. It's still alive. That's not what I meant. Yes, I know, but I couldn't just leave it there. I was totally going to, but this traveler kind of blackmailed me emotionally. Crest dim. Uh, oh, is this the mayor? It is the mayor. Okay, I've got to do. I've got to do my Master Roshi voice. I do apologize in advance if anyone finds this grating, but I've got to do it. My goodness, I'm astounded. This is the crystal that crash landed here. It's enormous. Mayor, there was an omen inside it. Oh yes, it does look like one. Mayor, please tell her. We're not helping any omens. This was clearly all they're doing anyway. Are omens really that bad? Also, this music kind of reminds me of... It gives me Dark Cloud vibes. Which, by the way, you should play those games. Dark Cloud 1 and 2. Amazing. Uh, well, bad is an oversimplification. Are you the traveler I've been hearing about? I heard rumors that you came from afar during Quietus. Do you know Goku? Yes, this is the person from the rumors. It's just been one thing after another. What on earth is going on? Mayor, all my beds are still full from last week's incident. That mayor has an amazing beard, by the way. Uh, I can't just leave this wounded omen or this traveler here either. Indeed! But we cannot provide refuge to an omen in our town! I thought so, but as a doctor, I can't leave behind the injured under any circumstances. You totally were going to, though, Cress. Let's, let's not pretend, you know... Hmm. Calm down, Cress. I just said we cannot keep the omen inside Leith Village. What do you mean? There's a spare shed in Bird's Eye Bray, isn't there? No one would notice if you took it there. I grant you permission to treat it uh, there until it regains consciousness. Ah. Now to carry the, this omen over to Bird's Eye Bray. Could you lend me? Uh, could Could you lend me a hand? I'm really old. He seems like a nice guy. Hmm. I won't be able to treat the omen if I can't get it, uh, get under its armor. What is this thing made of? It just won't come off. It does look very, uh, very advanced. It, it kind of reminds me of, like, something out of, uh, like one of the, um, Xenosaga games. Uh, that's why it's pointless even trying to treat an omen. I suppose all you can do for now is let it rest. Now, as for you... What brought you to our town, stranger? Mayor, his memory was affected by Quietus. 
I see. You were incredibly lucky to make it this far during quietness. Uh, a girl saved me. Oh yeah, that weird angel girl. A girl? Hmm, none of the villagers should have been out at that time. His body was in a weakened state at the time. It's not unlikely that he may have experienced hallucinations. Hmm, perhaps. In any case, he could probably do with some rest. This shed has been vacant ever since the last owner left. You may use it as you please. So, we we just got a house. Like, how much easier is it in video games to gain, to own property? I, I will never own a house in my in my entire life, probably. Um, but I, I, I wouldn't call this a shed. This is one freaking fancy shed. Look how many lights there are. Now, excuse me, I must be on my way to the village meeting. We have to decide on a plan of action regarding the crystal that landed here. Chris, Dim, I'm leaving the rest with you. Aw, nice old man, Mayor. Yeah, that is some fancy looking space armor. Chris, are you sure you want to take in this omen? Yes. There you go, getting too involved again. You put yourself on the line too much. I'm going back to finish the rounds. Sorry, I've been so preoccupied with everything going on at the moment. I'm tired too. You've been through much more than I have. Take it easy for the rest of the day. I'm sure your body must still be fighting off the effects of quietus. I'll leave you to it. I'll come back and check on you in the morning. Okie dokie. So yeah, this this opening obviously is very story heavy. And it's going to gradually introduce systems to us. Uh, but again, I, did, I didn't play all of the demo. I didn't want to kind of spoil it. But if you played the demo, you could carry over your progress to the full game. Which I think is really cool. Uh, you are suddenly overcome with a feeling of tiredness. Time to get some rest. Yeah, I didn't sleep very well last night for some reason. I, uh, I may have to crash after, rec after I record this. Uh, use the bed. And the game will also save when you rest in bed and the day ends. Spring Zephyr D2. Chapter 1, The One From Beyond. Somebody's here. It would appear so. Oh dear, were you still sleeping? It's already afternoon, sleepyhead. I mean, come on, cut me, cut me some slack. Well, if you're sick, you're sick. Not much can we do, uh, not much we can do about that. You're a doctor, there, is, there hopefully is something you can do about that. How are you feeling? I never got your name. Do you remember what it is? My name is Mage. Mage, it's good you remember that much at least. Yeah. I'm going to give you a quick once over. Hold still, please. I hope I'm not going to have to pay for all this medical care, by the way. I, I, I have, like, no money. Okay, still nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, that's right. The mayor asked me to give you something. Would you mind coming outside? Not a problem. Bit of fresh air. Aha. Uh -huh. It's not the most conventional gift, but here you go. You received three carrot seeds and three stellar wheat seeds. It looks like everyone in Leith Village pitched in. To give me six seeds. It's a bit sad, isn't it? Uh, you've got a good plot of land here. I'm ge uh, I guess he's hoping you'll put it to use while you're uh, while you get back on your feet. Okay. Yep. Which I must say makes perfect sense from a doctor's perspective. It'll keep you busy since it's easy to feel gloomy or despondent when you don't have something to work towards. This is very true. This is very true. And when the mind suffers, so does the body. 
No point in dilly-dallying, shilly-shallying. Let's get to work. Don't worry, I'll teach you what to do. I'm not an expert, but I know the basics. We're about to learn how to farm, everyone. You want me to help you? Uh, yeah, please. I'm a doctor, not a farmer. I can barely lift the tools by myself. Besides, doing it yourself is the best way to learn. Okay. Plow the earth, plant seeds, and water them while changing out your tools. Alright. Um, we've also got a mailbox. Oh, and yeah, it uh, looks like every now and then we're going to receive mail from various people. We've got uh, the Castle Lewis Times, which uh, I think that's pretty cool. The village has its own freaking newspaper. I mean, admittedly, it's a pretty small newspaper. Not very in-depth, but it is published by Lewis Castle Royal Information Department, so, you know, that's pretty cool. Greetings, citizens. Yesterday, a giant crystallized object uh, descended upon Leith and crash-landed in the village. Fortunately, no Leith residents were injured. The object is thought to pose no immediate threat to life unless close contact is made. Yeah, don't touch that burning lava. Uh, rest assured, our intelligence division is investigating the incident. They have an intelligence division? Wow. Castle Lewis. I wonder if we're going to go and see their uh, headquarters at some point. There are no letters. Okay. So, right. Press Y to plow twice. Uh, we well, just press Y to plow. And uh, I always forget which button the Y button is. I, I always want to press the top button, but that's the X button on the Switch controller for some reason. Because Nintendo likes to mess with us. So, there we go. We just plowed. Sweet. And uh, we got to plow six squares, which is fine. And, uh, yeah, you kind of strafe to, uh, side to side, which is pretty cool. Should we hold? Yeah, if we hold Y... Oh, no, that doesn't work. Okay, but anyway, doesn't matter. Um, if you've played any farming games, this is probably very rudimentary. I'm not familiar, I'm not that familiar with this genre. Like I say, Stardew was really the only one I played. I never really touched Harvest Moon back in the day. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not an expert at this particular genre. But it's it's one that, yeah, I kind of like. It's, it, it is very relaxing. Uh, even though the idea of doing this hard work in real life has no appeal to me whatsoever. And any farmers out there, huge, huge props to you. Because that is hard work. Um, press X to plant seeds. Planting some carrots, which I'm sure will in no way resemble carrots. This is a fantasy world, my friends. Um, how do I change? Aha, so yeah, we uh, use our D-pad here. There we go. So, planted some wheat and some carrots. While holding uh, ZR, press up to change to the watering can. Uh, is that okay? It's that's weird because that's on the on the left side of the screen, but it wants me to press the right bumper. That's a little bit strange. Uh, but there we go, watering can. And now that we've got that equipped, we uh, hold Y. That is a fancy looking water can. It looks more like a fishing rod to me. So you can see the earth getting darker. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, th this is, I, I just described watering a plant or a seed. Cool. Um, yeah, you can just hold it and move side to side. That's pretty good. Daily watering. The crops on your farm need to water to grow. Water them every day. So, am I going to be able to make sprinklers in this game? Because sprinklers in Stardew were a bloody godsend. Uh, hmm, sure, not half bad. You seem pretty good with your hands. Keep it up, and I'm sure you'll have no problem. Yeah, that wasn't so hard. You pick things up pretty quick, hmm? I wonder if I should put you to work at the clinic. I'm kidding. Definitely kidding. <clears throat> uh, although, this farm has seen better days. Yeah, where have all these giant rocks come from? 
you must have had a hard time working on it. Uh, these rocks are ge yeah, keep getting in the way. I need to find some way of getting my rocks off uh, the, 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 the plot of land. If you had a hammer or something, you could break down those rocks and have more space for your farm. If only I had a hammer. Don't suppose you have one, do you? No. Don't think so. I don't even know where I got the watering can from. Didn't think so. In that case, you'll just have to make one. Could you make one for me? Mm, no, it's best you make one for yourself. You're going to have to be self-sufficient if you want to live here. You can make a hammer with some hard stone. I'll show you how to make it, but you've got to gather the materials first. Okay. Should be able to find the materials you need in the Nord Step. The Nord Step. Alright, you probably don't know where that is. No, I do not. You'll find the Nord Step if you get off this hill uh, from that gate over there. There are monsters around here, though, so be careful. Yeah, this is... This is I don't know, if they do this right, this is... Uh, this is right up my alley. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, you can have this. A sandwich, yes. Nice butty. What kind of sandwich is it? You must be hungry after all that farm work, right? Here's something for you to eat. It's a good idea to fill your stomach before you head out on any journeys. Because if you wait until you're weak and passed out to eat... Uh, then you, you're already too, yeah. So you're to eat uh, that and restore the energy you spent, understood? Thanks. Oh wow, we're really hype about that. So, food and stamina. You can recover stamina spent working the farm or HP lost in battle by eating food. Some food can even improve abilities temporarily. Your hunger gauge fills temporarily after eating. If the hunger gauge is even slightly filled, your stamina will begin to recover on its own. Well then, I'll be heading back to the clinic. If that omen pops, uh, pops. If that omen opens their eyes after I've left, then let me know right away. Sometimes I see words that just aren't there. Does anyone else relate to that? This game's got such a nice atmosphere. Right, now the passing of time. This is something that I think uh, you're going to be used to if you've played games like Stardew. However, in the demo, time did pass quite quickly. Now, it doesn't really matter how quickly time passes if there's no real rush with anything. Like, it doesn't matter how many days it takes you to do something. You know, like Stardew, you can pretty much take your time if you really want to, but um, if you want to, like, max out your efficiency, um, the time is going to be important to you. So I wonder how quickly it's going to progress, because it was quite quick in the demo. Once the clock reaches midnight, you will collapse from exhaustion, so make sure you go home and sleep before that happens. So again, yeah, very Stardew, and I know I'm going to be comparing this to Stardew all the time, but it, it really is my only point of reference for this kind of game that I've played to any length, and I, I've put hundreds of hours into Stardew. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, make a hammer. We've obtained a memo. Move freely during the daytime and then sleep in your bed at night. So it's 10 a.m. And if I don't move, yep, time is still moving. So you can't just, yeah, can't dilly-dally. Is there a main menu? I've pressed the home button again. Well done, mage. Well done. Uh, there is a menu. Okay. So we got... Story up, uh, update. I love it when games do this, especially JRPGs, because you take a break and then you forget what happened. So, pretty much, uh, we do want to make a hammer, but uh, I'm not sure if we can... Can we go and kill some monsters yet? We've got some quests. Make a hammer. Collect ten hard stones to make a hammer. You'll find some on the Nord Step to the east of your house. Okay. Let's check our backpack. We've got a sandwich. Uh, restores 850 HP and stamina plus 50%. A sandwich made by Cress, filled with fresh crunchy greens, egg and crispy fried... Uh, 
Get rid of the egg. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of egg. Spicy sauce. Ooh. And it looks like it fills 20 of my hunger gauge. And that's all we've got right now. Uh, we've got a hoe. Yay, I'm mature. Uh, watering can. And yes, you will have party members in this, which again is just crazy to me. I've never really played a game quite like this. Uh, I'm sure there are games that have done this before, but this is my first. There's a job system. Uh, different classes. And an encyclopedia, which... Um, yeah, I mean, again, there's there's only going to be 57 enemies in the game, apparently. I think that's fine for a, for a game like this. If it was just a pure RPG, that would be quite low. But the fact that there is going to be quite an in-depth, you know, crafting system, farming system... I'm just really excited to see what this is like, and I don't know what fear is. Maybe those are, like, special monsters, and then we've got bosses. Oh, there's going to be bosses in this game, oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, and I guess tutorials, options, things like that. Uh, and yeah, the game also saves. So, let's, um, let's see if we can go kill some monsters. In fact, we could probably, yeah, I mean, we don't have any seeds, so there's not really much point hoeing any, any more, uh, lots of land. A shipping box, that's where I think we can put things that we want to sell eventually. Which again, very Stardew. And a storage box. I'm gonna... Maybe I should go explore the village, actually, because there were... Yeah, there was a couple of chests that we could go... ...grab, couldn't we? But as you can see, it's already 11am. An hour has already passed and I've done nothing, so... I'm not gonna be, uh, worrying too much about... Like, being efficient in a game like this, it is going to be very relaxed. Uh, and this game has a world map. Explore the nearby Leith Village or head east to the North Step. Yeah, I think we'll focus on just um, showing off some of the combat in this first video, in case you didn't see my demo playthrough. Um, very pretty looking world map, but as you can see, time goes very quickly on the world map. Which makes sense, because you are covering a much greater distance. But yeah, the time factor could put some people off. But we'll, we'll just see how the game goes. We'll see. I don't mind it too much. As long as I don't feel rushed. Like, oh, you've got to do such, such a thing by a certain number of days or you're screwed. Which there might be, but again, I, I don't know. All right, first uh, most, uh, monster infested area. All right, hold uh, ZL and uh, use the left stick to dash. ZL. Okay, so that's the left. Yes. So that uses stamina, which is our yellow bar. And normal attack is Y. We've got some chlorogels. There we go. Easy. And uh, we just picked up a cool berry. That's a pretty cool berry. Now, as, as far as I'm aware, I don't know if we can dodge at any point. But we can gather and mine. Uh, which uses stamina. So you can get two items from these areas that will replenish the following day. So that's two hard stone already. We need eight more. Let's kill this, uh... What the heck, what the heck even is that? I don't even know. But yeah, uh... I, I think the combat system is going to be pretty basic, at least for now. It's got some meat. Um, also, I think that cool berry picked up is probably going to be... Oh my god, will you stop pressing the blooming home button, mage? Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um... That restores 50 HP. Okay. Could also maybe make it into juice, so I'm not going to use that up. Just going to go around killing as much as we can. It's a basic three hit combo. Some lumber. 
I mean, luckily these things are not hitting us for very much damage, so the fact that I can't really avoid their attacks isn't a big deal at the moment. But uh, maybe if we get a different class, we'll learn a dodge ability. Ooh, some chests too. More hard stone. Okay, nearly halfway there. More carob seeds. Right, we need to get those planted ASAP. And yeah, we do need to watch our stamina, because fighting uses it up. But again, I mean, you compare this combat system to Stardew Valley, for example, it is basically just one attack button. Smack things until they die. Uh, you can move around a little bit, maybe, to avoid them, but overall... So far, very, very simple. And... Ooh, we got a monolite fragment. What is that? A fragment of monolite crystal. It has retained the monolite's mysterious powers but uh, despite being broken into shards. Used in crafting. And, yes, certain seeds will only grow in certain seasons. So I suppose that is something you have to bear in mind. Again, something I'm sure many, many farm sim veterans are used to. Got some lumber. So we've already got a good bunch of items here. Now, it looks like our inventory system is, our inventory is going to be limited, and I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a way of uh, expanding that. Also, a little note, the, uh, the name of the currency in this game is Gorilla, apparently, which is weird. Uh, dress lettuce seeds. Let us celebrate getting those seeds. And, uh, well, you look a little bit scary. Have you found it? That is some fancy looking armor. Yes, it has been sighted at the spring sea slight. Uh, sea slight. The planetary nightmare? Most likely, yes. Alright, I have an idea. Let us reconvene with a uh, Dia Dianthus and the others. Now doesn't look like a good time to talk to them. It's probably best to stay out of their way. Yeah. I think they might be bad guys. Luckily, they have no awareness of their surroundings and didn't notice me at all. Okay, right. Is there any more... Um, things to find. It's 2.20pm, so we've still got quite a lot of the day left. So we might get a chance to explore the village. Um, yeah, okay. Can't really explore much of this area at the moment, so we'll head back to the village. At least we got um, yeah, about half of the stone we need. Halfway to that hammer. Uh, I'm not going to bother going south and checking out that stuff just yet, because, again, it does take time. So we'll, uh, we'll head to the village. Oh, I can't wait to see what this place looks like at night time. Like, properly, because you're going to have the glow of the crystal. All the, the the lamps and the lamp posts. This is... Oh, I'm telling you. I, I think I am going to enjoy this game, regardless of if the story's good, or if the combat's good, or even if the farming's particularly good. Just the atmosphere. Uh, right, let's go check out... What was that chest we saw? There's one near my house as well I should go grab, too. Uh, and I love fishing in, in games. I hope the fishing in this is good. I don't remember doing it in the demo anyway. Could be wrong. Alright. Let's get me some goodies. Oh, there's some flour. Okay. Can we... Can we make some bread now? Also, 420 blaze it. Uh, I probably should actually check... The blacksmith. Mm -hmm. 
This music, this this track in particular, gives me Final Fantasy XIV vibes. Uh, what's this? I don't often see out of towners uh, turning up here. Oh, ba badass old blacksmith lady! I love it. You must be a traveler. Aha, so you're the one everyone's talking about. You're no traveler. You're a new resident, eh? Yeah, we, we live here now. I didn't even have to pay for my own house. It's great. Please excuse me. Uh, this here is my smithy. We make all the farming equipment and weaponry for the people in town. Look, call it a smithy's instinct. But there'll come a time when you're going to need a stronger weapon than that. You've just got to, <laughs> that look about, yes, I would love stronger weapons, please. So with that in mind, don't hesitate to come to me anytime you need something made. I'll need the materials and labor fee, of course, but I promise you won't be disappointed. Sounds good. You can fortify your weapons at the smithy. Uh, fortifying your weapons enhances your attack, power, and defense. Come on in. <laughs> oh, that's what... Okay, so there are some voices in this. Come on in. Alright, so if we want to um, level up our sword... Which is called the Pros... Pro shades? Pro shades? Uh, it changes form in accordance with its owner's will. Vibrates when close to monolite. We need two copper ore. Let's upgrade that. Uh, and I don't know where we're going to find some copper ore yet. But we will be back. We will be back. Also, I think I'm, I might get in some screen tearing. I don't know if that's just in my software or if that's actually in the video. <clears throat> right, okay, so that's the smithy checked out. What else is there? Um, yeah, let's go check out the item shop. Not sure when shops are going to close, because I think they will have... They'll only be open for so long during the day. Oh, everything's just so cozy. Well, hello. Uh, welcome to the general store. You're a traveler of some sort. You don't see many of those coming to Leith. Leith, Leith, whatever. Oh, it's you, isn't it? I heard all about you from the mayor. Sounds like you've been through a lot. I heard you started farming on Bird's Eye Bray, is that right? Well, I planted some seeds and I watered them. Let's... I don't think that really counts as farming yet. But we've made a start. In that case, you're gonna need some seeds. Come to my store whenever you need some. Right now is the best season for dress lettuce and union. Oh my god, that is so hard to say. <laughs> union. Oh my, I don't even. Un onion? Union? Union. Union. Oh, that is really hard to say. We just so happen to be fully stocked up on those. I recommend you give them a try. Aside from seeds, we've also got travel essentials. Oh, and you could buy homemade meals and the like here too. I'm sure you'll be in need of a great many things. Probably will do, yeah. I don't have any money right now, though. We need to start selling some uh, some crops. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we can get a backpack upgrade. Fishing knowledge. So you have to buy the knowledge to fish. Okay. Uh, seeds. Saplings. Uh... Oh! Ready to harvest in seven days. Best fruit in the fall. And it can be reharvested. So, yeah, there's going to be all sorts of things to take into effect. Return bell. Use this item to instantly return home. That is something I'm going to want to have a good supply of. Also, we can get accessories. Improve our defense. Fire attribute resistance. Dude. I really, really hope this game's good, you know. I'm enjoying it a lot so far. Uh, yeah, plenty of things that we do want, but we have no money. We are flat broke. Although, saying that, can I sell stuff? Or maybe, maybe the sale box is the only way you can do that. That might be the only way we can do it. Okay, well anyway, thank you. Okay, getting towards evening now. This music is... I keep on going on about it. I know, I know. You're probably sick of it. it really is so lovely. And what do we have here? Uh, 
Nice hairdo. Nice monocle. Why, why can't I have hair like that? I wonder if you'll be able to unlock new hairstyles. Because again, so far, that's really the the biggest complaint I have with the game is that you just don't have many options for your character, the way they look. Uh, are you a visitor? Oh, I see now. You're the kid the mayor's been talking about. Beg your pardon, I run the renovator here in Leith. I'm the one everyone comes to when they need buildings and farms restructured. Ooh, can we make buildings? You live over in Bird's Eye Bray, is that right? You must have a lot of farmland there. You're probably going to need sheds and pens for keeping animals, eh? Oh my gosh, we can keep animals. Want to mention tools for processing your crops. There should be a lot you're going to need down the road. Well, when the time comes, speak to me. I'll uh, be able to help you out. I don't work for free, obviously, but we can go over that later. Yeah, I, I am so broke right now. Uh, you can expand your farm and unlock the kitchen counter at the renovator. <sighs> Gonna be able to cook stuff. Are you here to make an order? Uh, not yet, mate. Not yet. I'll be back. I'll be back. Alright. So... I think what we'll do... Yeah, look. The, oh, the day-night cycle. I wonder if there's any more chests around the village. Because I know there is, there is that one near our um, house where we started. Uh, where's this going? That was a little secluded house over here. Oh, you know it. My treasure chest since was tingling. Oh, we got copper ore. Nice. Only one more needed uh, for those. Uh, the sun looks like it will set any minute now. Go back to your house in Bird's Eye Braid to sleep. Yeah, I can. I've got six hours yet. It's not bedtime yet, Mom. Now, is there, are, are there going to be things to find inside the houses? This is just a vacant house. So I wonder if, like, people will move into your village and you can... Are there relationships in this game? I don't know. But yeah, I can imagine this being a game that you can just plow... <laughs> again, using that, that term again. Uh, so many hours into... So, again, I really can't promise this will be a full playthrough, but I will try and get videos out of this every now and then. And they're going to be longer. They're going to be well over an hour, hopefully. Uh, and just, hopefully, a nice, relaxing little let's play. Right, let's head back to... Is there a fast travel system? There probably isn't. Because that would... I mean, they could do it, but it would just take a certain amount of time. Uh, but yeah, let's go back home. And yeah, sprinting in village uses up stamina as well, so... And because we haven't got any hunger meter filled up, it will not replenish on its own. Bird's Eye Bray. Ah, yes. Letters will arrive in your mailbox. The mailbox lights up to notify you when there are new letters. That's handy. Oh, look at this. Oh, the glow of the crystals, and oh, we have, like, gather points here. Little mushroom. Adorable. So, the thing is, what happens if we run out of stamina? Will we just not be able to do anything? Um, I'm not sure. I could plant some more seeds quickly. Um, might, might do that. Oh, crud, I used the wrong button. I used the berry. <laughs> yeah, it's nearly 8pm, so... Let's plant a few more seeds. Uh, what should we plant? More carrot seeds, or should we plant some of the lettuce? We'll plant some of the lettuce. go and yeah I'm gonna gonna get used to the controls here all 
right. Yeah, where I was. That chest, where did I come from? Is it this way? I'll have a mooch around. Oh, I got a shiny spot. Ooh, that looks like something I'm going to be able to break down. Yeah. We need bombs. Oh my gosh. Alright, where's that going? That's probably just leaving to the world map again. Hang on a second. I'm trying to remember where we actually started. Was it to the north? I just want to go find that chest. Now, I think there is um, some slight frame rate drops. That's something to keep in mind. Again, not sure if that's going to be the case on PC, but um, I'm playing this, uh, well, I have to record this docked, so it's not handheld. Not sure how it's going to play in either mode. Uh, oh, yeah, we got some pens here already. Can't wait to get me some an animals. Aminals. Ah, it was this way. Here we go. Yeah, we've got plenty of time. We'll go grab this chest. Um, and yeah, our stamina recovered quite a lot because we ate that berry. A return bell. Beautiful. Good stuff. Alright. So, actually, you know what? I think, I think we got quite a lot done today. Oh, there's a chest behind my house. Which is, I, I mean, there's in no... There are in, no dictionary in the world would that be freaking classified or defined as a shed. I know. Oh, it's gonna make me? No, I wanna go open that chest. Ah, oh, it forced me. Okay, maybe it's gonna force you early on in the game just to get some rest so you don't, you know, die. Uh, but it looks like when we're in here, time is not progressing. Okay, we'll get that chest tomorrow. What a cozy freaking... Oh, man. We've got a sewing machine as well. My mum would love that. And so far, the omen is still asleep. The stone is, ru is the ruined. What are you talking about? You weird alien thing. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know if I would sleep next to this thing. I don't know if I would trust it. Like, I don't know. It's a little bit risky. But, uh, yep. Time to sleep. Uh, we're gonna get some story cutscene. Which I've definitely seen before in the demo, but I don't remember what happened. There's a loud sound coming from the other, other bed, yeah. Now I'm awake. So we just sleep in our full clothes on top of the uh, of the duvet. Uh, go back to sleep. No, we're gonna check on them, of course. Cause something funky's going on. Error, error. Abnormality detected in life support system may cause irre irreversible effects to the body. It woke up. Operator consciousness levels low. Cognizant judgment impossible. Checking atmosphere composition. Small amount of Gaia dust detected. Gaia dust? Body affected by Gaia dust density. Rectifying, discarding protective equipment. That is some fancy technology. And hello. It's a girl? The girl is sleeping peacefully. Better go and call Crest right away. Yeah, what time is it? Crest is going to be pissed. You trying to tell me there was a human inside the Omen armor this whole time? Mate, are you sure this girl was inside the Omen armor? Uh, pretty, pretty sure. I'm positive. 
Fair enough. I don't see what you would have to gain by lying to us. It makes sense for it to have been in the Omen armor this, uh, the whole time. The fabric of her clothing isn't anything I've seen before either. I wonder where she's from. I bet she works for them. You shouldn't let your guard down just because you look like us, Cress. Or she looks like us. Uh, a human wearing omen armor is pretty suspicious. Enough, Dim. There's no point in jumping to conclusions. What would you like to do with her, Cress? Once indeed. She's still unconscious, so we'll just need to wait and see for now. But Cress... But what? We can't just abandon her, can we? Mage, you don't mind, do you? Ah, I like a roommate. We can't turn her away. Sure, whatever. I knew you'd see it that way, too. I'll leave her in your care until then. Very good. It's quite late, so let's head back to the village. Yeah, I really need some sleep, guys. I, I was... I was so active yesterday. Uh, don't let your guard down, no excuses. I'll come back in the morning to see how things are going. Thanks. Bye for now! Okay, so, the plot thickens. It might be a good idea to get some sleep too. Yes, it would. Dear three. What? What the? What the hell am I? Oh, I think somebody's awake. I was investigating the red ink. Then, ah, what happened to my gear? Ah, oh, this sucks. Seriously, what is this place? Oh, I think she just ran. Straight out the door. She went outside. Well, crap. I guess I better follow. Yeah, these, this artwork is so bloody nice. Square Enix games, I'm telling you, they all they all have amazing artwork, amazing soundtracks. Uh, and I, I, yeah, I'm a little bit of a fanboy, but, you know, I will call out games' faults when I see them, but I've got to praise what I'd like, too. Uh, it can't be the new Red Queen? What are you talking about? Red Queen? You, you weren't, uh, weren't you asleep in the other bed? I was, and then I woke up. That's what people do. What's with the get-up? What's with yours? Oh, hey, Cress. Perfect timing. I am up early, thanks to someone. She's awake. She is. She has very long hair, too. Uh, I'll go get the mayor. Her outfit... And did she, did she say Maya? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, she got a Sneasel. It's chilly out. Yeah, you're not really wearing much. Well, then again, you're not wearing much less than me. Probably is quite nippy in the mornings, though. Uh, maybe my clothes are too fi uh, thin. Whatever, I'm going back inside before I catch a cold out here. Good idea. So, can you tell us where you're from, miss? Can you tell me what year it is first? Like, what calendar do you use? Luna? Gregorian? Not sure how it'll help, but we use the Hor Horian calendar, making it the year 855. Yeah, that means nothing to me. Horian? I've never I've never heard of it. Well, I don't get the impression any of you are making light of the situation. 
We speak the same language, so at least I got that. Yeah, that's lucky, isn't it? Wherever the heck you're from, speak English. Uh, what are you? What do you have to do with the omens? Straight to the point, eh, Dim? Omens? I have honestly no idea what you're talking about. Playing coy, huh? Dim, that's enough. Let's listen to what she has to say. Thank you. We still don't know where you're from! I haven't figured that out myself. I'm looking at the clothes you're wearing and the structure of this house. I can't say I've ever seen any of it in the history books I've read. Although, I guess they do resemble artifacts of what we would call the Middle Ages from where I'm from. Ooh. Which leads me to draw only one reasonable conclusion. I think I came here from the future, or some other really advanced civilization. But either of, either of those is, uh, is pretty out there. Huh? What do you mean by that? Trust me, I want to believe this is all a bad dream, but I might have to accept that this is reality. It's safer to laugh with the lunatics, after all. Where are you going? I can't just sit around doing nothing. If my theory is correct, and I am, in fact, for another time, and I have to find a way back. I need to come up with a plan. Actually, again, the Dark Cloud comparisons. She looks a little bit like Monica, a little bit. And the fact that she thinks she's from another time? Ah. Uh, not only that, but I need to figure out why the stone has appeared in this time as well. There's a lot that needs to be done. And we're already out of time. That's quite ominous. What do you think she meant by that? Beats me. Uh, but whatever, no point dwelling on it now. I should head back to work. Do you need me here? No, you go on ahead. There's still something I want to do here. Got it. Don't stay too late. I need to go out and get myself some more hard stone. So, mage, those vegetables you planted yesterday should be ready now. Uh, let's go and harvest them. Ooh, we're gonna harvest and harvest Stella. That was fast. Those particular seeds grow pretty quick. Anyway, you don't mind if I take a look since I'm here already? All right, let's go get some crops. And then sell them and make all the money. Oh, look at that. And we've got some lettuce too, because I, I went above and beyond. I planted even more seeds than the game actually wanted me to. And it's cool that they show up in this cutscene, which, yeah, I don't see why they wouldn't, because this is all real time, but still. The vegetables you planted are looking good. I can see you're doing a fine job of taking care of them. I All I did was put them in the ground and watered them a little bit. I, I don't I don't really feel like I deserve this praise, but okay, I'll take it. Uh, I can't wait to try them. Of course you can't. You grew them all by yourself, and I bet they're delicious too. And that's all well and good, but you're going to need a, a source of income, right? Well, if you ship your crops, merchants can easily deliver them to families all over the world. And you'll earn yourself some money in the process. As compensation, that sounds like capitalism. First, you should harvest your vegetables. Yes, how do I do that? Oh, I just press A to harvest them. Sounds pretty simple. Um, why won't it let me... Oh, is the wheat not done yet? Oh, the wheat isn't done yet. The carrots are, though. Okay, I was going to say. Uh, is the lettuce done yet? We'll check in a minute. Nice job with the harvest. 
Now that's done, would you mind putting them in that blue shipping box over there? Not a problem. But yeah, let me, let me check. No, okay, the lettuce is not ready yet, or if it is, it's not letting me harvest it yet, so... Pop them in the box. Uh, and yeah, we could, we could probably sell everything we have right now. Um, I'm not sure how much we're going to get for all this stuff. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But for now, we're just going to sell the carrots. Good, looks like they're all in there. Your shipment should be collected at some point today. And you'll receive money for everything you shipped tomorrow morning. That is really quick. Can you imagine if it works that way? You'll have to wait until then to see how much your vegetables were sold for. Yeah, okay, so there's... There's no way of knowing ahead of time how much something will sell for. You just kind of have to... Uh, sell it and find out. Nope, seems pretty simple. Some of the crops haven't fully grown yet. Don't forget to water them later. Yes, now that is something I may forget to do. Oh, I was worried about you in the beginning, but now I see you'll be just fine. Thank you, Cress, for showing him the ropes. Anyway, mate, I actually have some other matters to attend to, uh, to discuss with you. Would you mind coming inside? Okay, and I wonder, is there going to be different weather? Because, like, if it rains, am I going to have to water plants? Oh, are we going to learn how to sew? This is going to be so cool. The crafting table. As long as you've got a recipe and some materials, it's an invaluable tool for crafting items. This is for you. Oh, we can make return bells. This is a recipe. Uh, oh, and he's giving me the materials as well. What a dude. Very handy item to have, I imagine, yeah. There will come a time when your health recovers and you'll be venturing outside of Bird's Eye Bray. I kind of already have. Um... <clears throat> Okay, yep, yeah, return bell. Pretty simple, thanks. You could make a hammer at the crafting table too. Yeah, if, if, if I had more stone. Uh, We'll be working on that pretty soon though, I'm sure. One more thing! When you get a chance, please show your face. Uh, st I've already done it, mate. Way ahead of you, bud. I'm already, yep, yeah, already done it. I'm sure you come to rely on them the more time you spend in lead. Now then, I should be heading back to the village. Me too. I don't want Dim getting upset with me. My, my, that, that ship might have already sailed. Well then, have a good day, mate. Goodbye. Crafting. Okay, crafting takes time. The amount of time it takes depends on the item you're crafting. Fair enough. And it's 10 a.m. Right. So we could make... Ah, that's what the monolite's for. We could make another return bell. Uh, let's do it. Let's make our first item. It's going to take 20 minutes. Way crafted our first item. Nice. God, I really wish... I really wish Nintendo had achievements. <laughs> I'm such an achievement whore. Uh, okay. All right. Let's go out and water our plants. And then we'll go try and get some more hard stone. I suppose I could plant some more seeds now too. Uh, what do I have? We could plant more carrots. Yeah, we might as well. We might as well. Don't forget to water them, too. Nice. Right. Yeah, let's head off, kill a few more monsters, grab some more hard stone, hopefully get enough for the hammer. But if not, there's always tomorrow. And, uh, right, open menu. Yeah, so... The only thing is, with, with games like this, I do wish there was, like, a manual save option, because... I'm not quite sure, like, if I... 
if I leave, like, the game, will it just load me at the beginning of the, of the most recent day I got to? I feel like that's probably what it's going to do. But, um, I'll not worry about that just yet. Let's go kill some more beasties. But yeah, please let me know if you're enjoying this so far. Um, again, episodes of this might not be too frequent, but hopefully lengthy enough to be meaningful. Um, may end up... Well, the thing is, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to miss story stuff. If I say, like, oh, well, I just played a few days off screen. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll, again, we'll worry about that once we get a bit further into the game. Uh, more monolites. Uh, I kind of want hard stone game. Uh, but if we get one more copper ore, we could upgrade our sword eventually. I wonder how much money we're going to make from the carrots. Probably not too much. Okay, we got one more hard stone to need four. I don't think we're going to get four today. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're going to be lucky enough to get... In fact, I don't think there's enough gathering spots. Yeah, we're just getting lumber from that tree. So, yeah, there's going to be some RNG element to it, uh, which means, yeah, things could end up taking longer. Depending on how lucky you are, I suppose. And, yeah, there's really nothing to this combat system yet. We'll see if it uh, gets more in-depth as we go on. Got some more meat. Those guys are still stood there. Hearthstone. Okay, do we need... I think we need two more. Which we should easily get tomorrow. That's fine. Uh, I imagine if we try and talk to these chaps or approach them again, it's just going to tell me to not bother. Unless they have something different to say. No, they're still... Okay. Yeah, that is a story-blocking thing. That's okay. We'll be back later. No, oh my god, I didn't mean to walk backwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, um, and I don't, I don't think enemies respawn. Like, if we left this area and came back, I'm not sure if the enemies would be back here until tomorrow anyway. Um, I do wonder what these things are. I wonder if there's going to be something to do with those later, probably. Right, well, since we have some time to kill... I mean, we could explore more of the village. But I'm just going to quickly head down south and see what this is. Ah, okay, we can't go there yet. Jade Forest. Ah, we can't go there yet either. All right, well, that's okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm guessing we're not going to be able to go north either. But yeah, time goes really quickly on the world map, so if we end up having to go quite a number of distance, yeah, quite a distance to, like, various other towns, because I think there are other towns. Depending on how big this world map is, maybe we'll have to, like, stay at other villages, get in, like, inns or something. I'm not sure how it's going to work. Obviously, we can return home immediately with a return bell, so maybe we'll have to rely on those more. And since they did give me the recipe to make them, like, at the beginning of the game, maybe that's what they expect you to do. Uh, I really, yeah, I don't know. I do not know. Right. Uh, yeah, let's, we might as well search the village. Uh, and yeah, can't wait to get paid tomorrow. Payday! Uh, and in fact, I could, before we, before it gets too late, we could pop a few more things in the shipping box, because we do have some meat maybe we could sell. I mean, probably going to be able to cook that as well, but maybe just to give us a bit of a, a boost to our funds. Well, I don't know yet. <clears throat> and again, I think a lot of these houses are probably vacant. Yes. Oh no, this isn't vacant. Someone lives here. But again, doesn't look like there's anything to find in here. Uh, maybe other houses do have chests in them. Oh, I've really enjoyed uh, this little session. Probably will call it quits 
tomorrow, but again, we'll we'll see. I probably will be streaming this uh, as well, but I'm gonna start like a different uh, playthrough for that. I want I want this to be my my YouTube playthrough. So I think on the Switch, all I have to do is just change my my account, and I'll be able to start a new file. So that's fine. Um, oh, look at the kids running along the river. Oh, hello. Okay, more wheat seeds. Where are you guys off to? You guys go into that house we just... Oh no! Okay, let's follow, let's follow the kids. Although, it's probably going to be getting close to their bedtime soon. So, yeah, I think I think running around is probably, yeah, a good thing to do if you have the stamina. It's another fishing spot. Can't wait to do some fishing. And, oh! What the heck? You received the valuable End of Eden 12 growth. What is that? What did I just pick up, chaps? Oh, yep. What the heck did I just pick up? I think it's a key item. It's a valuable. A story from the end of Eden, the Eden that sought growth. You are not me. If you keep using my name, then I'll... Oh. I have no idea what that means. The snake slithers into Eden of never-ending quarrels. Hmm. That's obviously part of a, of a greater tale. I, I wonder what that actually is. Uh, but yeah, we've not gained access to any new jobs yet. We do have skill boards. I should probably show this off. So it looks like, yep, there is a skill tree. And we're going to be learning some new skills. Obviously. We don't have any JP, which I'm guessing is going to be job points. Don't have any of those yet. Step. Ah, maybe that's kind of like a dash well, or a dodge. Oh. Shorten job change cooldown. Blaze 2. Present slash. Enhanced normal attack. Okay. And yeah, as we unlock panels, we're going to unlock even more. Oh man, I really can't wait to uh, properly dive into this. Right, well, uh, that was very random to find. Anything this way? Oh yes. More carp seeds. This is absolutely just so... This is so chill. This is great. Again, who knows how the game's gonna, you know, pan out from here, but so far, I have very much enjoyed my time with this. And, uh, yeah, again, big thank you to Square for uh, providing me a copy this early. I cannot believe... I'm lucky enough to get these kinds of opportunities. Ooh. What is that? It looks like a it looks like a sand person. You found a Conal Conalu doll. What the heck? There's weird collectibles in this game. Oh, that is that is actually really cute. Fallen dolls found in a variety of places. Maybe something good will happen if you collect them. Ooh. I wonder. So yeah, definitely explore the village, chaps. It looks like there's quite a few things to find. And I bet, I bet I've not even found all of them yet. Also, I enjoy it when games have different music for different times of day. I do like that. Right. But yeah, 7.10, so we're probably going to be heading back. To our house. Yeah, let's go do that. Now, it did say, you know, at midnight we'll pass out. But I'm wondering if it's going to force us back to our house again like it did yesterday. Let's go home. Yeah, you know what? I, f I feel like sh actually the days feel like a decent length so far. Whether or not that's going to become less... Well, it depends how much more stuff opens up for us to do during a day. Doesn't it really? At the moment, there isn't too much we can do, so. Right, I'm gonna quickly see if I can pop a few more things in this box. That's what he said. Ooh, uh, grab this. 
Oh, I wonder if we could have found hardstone here. Anyway, we got more monolith, uh, monolite. Uh, which I suppose we could sell, actually. I wonder if that sells so much. Um, we'll sell we'll sell one of... Well, yeah, we're not going to sell any of the hard stone. Let's sell one of the meats. Just to see how much that is worth. One of the monolite, just out of curiosity. One of the mushrooms. And we'll keep everything else. Keep on forgetting, I do have that sandwich I can use as well, but didn't really need to. Um, did I get the item behind the house? I didn't, did I? Nope. More wheat seeds. Alright, we need to get those planted tomorrow. Alright, I guess I'll just hit the hay. Yeah, we're definitely going to have another cutscene. I'm coming in. Sleeping outside is out of the question, so I'll be staying in here for now. I mean, I would let you... I, yeah, that's kind of what I expected. Don't, don't worry about it. Just go about your business as though I'm not even here. Uh... I, I don't, yeah, I don't, uh, no, I'm going to be nice to her. Are you showing concern? A little bit. Look, I don't plan to stick around. I already have an idea on what to do next, more or less. I'm going to, you planning on sharing that information? Probably not. Anyway, good night. I'm sure she'll warm up to us. All right, let's see. Oh, we gained a level. All right. Plus one to all of our stats. And 36 HP. Uh, which again, yeah, enemies don't seem to be hitting me that hard right now, but they are only like level one enemies, so. And, ah, right. So pretty much, yeah, meats, monolite, all worth 20. Carrots are worth way more, so it's definitely good to sell your vegetables. Uh, 405 griller. Okay, so we're about halfway to learning how to fish. And I think that's probably what I'm going to prioritize. Day four. And in fact, chaps, um, unless there's a long story cutscene here, I think I'm going to be ending the video. Although it does look like there is a cutscene. And my dog wants to come in my room. Oh my gosh, perfect timing. Looks like the girl's already left. Oh, knock on the door. Okay, the doctor's coming in. Oh, you're awake. Morning. Sorry, chaps. I'm going to have to just quickly call let my dog in. Sorry about that. Uh, are you alright? Let me know if you're feeling off anywhere. Nah, I'm pretty good. Oh, well, good. I take it that girl has already left, then. As a doctor, I do wish she would have stayed and rested. But I doubt she would have listened to me anyway. In any case, let me know right away if anything happens to her, alright? Thanks. By the way, did you get the money from yesterday's vegetable shipment? I sure did. Oh, I sure did. There we go. Great. Might be a good idea to buy some new vegetable seeds with that money. I'm saving up for fishing. I've already got enough seeds. I got I got plenty to be uh, planting. <coughs> well, thanks for letting me know. You're welcome. Anyway, I've told you everything I can for now. What you do... Oh, okay, so... Looks like we have a bit of freedom now. Just try out lots of things and learn as you go along. That's all from me for today. I'll see you later. Have a good day. Thank you. Alright, chaps. 
Right, yeah. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to work, like, when the autosave actually kicks in. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching the first episode of my Harvest Stella playthrough. Again, can't promise it's going to be a full one. We'll see how I enjoy the game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate it. Help the channel grow. Share this video. Like the video. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, but yeah, more importantly, I just really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you again, Square Enix, for giving me this opportunity to uh, show off this game to you, to you chaps. Uh, I will be, again, streaming this on Twitch later today, but um, you guys, well, uh, the stream's probably already happened by the time you see this, maybe. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up exactly. But uh, yeah, look forward to more of this. Again, it will not be too frequent. I'll try and get in a good session of this whenever I can. I think it's going to be a nice unwinding game. Uh, although, we'll see how hectic the actual combat and dungeon crawling becomes. I'm really, really curious to see how this pans out. It, it's got such potential. I really, really hope it's good. Uh, but yeah, take care, everyone. I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.